Hi, my name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new and recently updated Sample One XT. Now, for those of you like me who really enjoy sampling, Sample One has always been a great option to use for sampling. But now with version four, we've got some great new updates that were brought to the table. So for example, we have a newly designed user interface. We have the ability to now sample different inputs. We have the ability to sample virtual instruments that are sitting within our song. In addition, we also have some options in terms of follow tempo that can really help streamline the sampling workflow. So let's take a look at some of these new features in detail with Sample One XT. So right off the bat, you can see that we have a brand new GUI. And the other thing to mention here is that the Sample One XT has been ported over to the brand new virtual instrument engine that was introduced in Studio One version three. Now, along with that comes some really nice features. So for example, we now have the keyboard and the effects section that we have in Presence XT. So you can see we have our effects A and our effects B. And the really cool thing about this is that you can take advantage of this distortion section, which has a lot of different options in terms of adding distortion to your sounds. Now, in addition to that, we can also add things like modulation, delay, reverb, essentially allowing you a lot of customization in terms of crafting your sounds when you're doing your sampling. So we're gonna take a look at that in a moment, so let's just hide that for now, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the basics here. Well, one thing that they've added, which is really cool, in my opinion, is they have these four tabs over here. We have our wave, our mapping, our envelopes, and this is pretty cool because we can adjust things like this, but then we can also adjust the curve of the things like our release and our amplitude. So that's pretty handy. Now, another thing that's really useful is if we click this record tab over here, you'll notice that we have a lot of different options. So for example, I can choose an input here. I could choose input three, or I could choose some instruments or any of my outputs. In addition to that, we can also monitor. So essentially we can record our samples directly into sample one XT versus having to record them into the Studio One timeline or import them from a finder. So let's take a look at doing that. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and name our sample. Now I've got a stereo mic set up here and I'm just gonna record some snaps. So let's go ahead and we'll name this snaps. And then my resolution, I'm gonna leave this set to 24 bit and the insertion key, let's go ahead and I wanna insert this onto C3. So next thing, I'm just gonna choose my stereo inputs over here, which is my mic line one, two. And then I also wanna monitor this as well. So let's go ahead and click the monitor active. And then once you have this all set up, all we have to do essentially is record this. I'm just gonna record a bunch of different snaps over here. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, we'll go ahead and we'll click stop. And now we can come out of the monitoring mode. We'll go into our waveform and let's go ahead and let's start making some adjustments here. Now, one thing that you'll notice right off the bat is we now have auto snapping to our zero crossing points. So for example, if I was to go in here and zoom in really close, you'll notice that it's snapping to the positive waveform as I'm moving things. So this allows us to really easily find that perfect zero crossing point. So hopefully we don't have any clicks or pops within our samples. And then we can use our mouse dragging up or down in order to zoom in and out. And of course, we can also use any zoom shortcuts that we have on this right side. Let's go ahead, let's pull this all the way in and I'm just gonna pull back this end point. I just wanna isolate this one section over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll make sure that we have this edit nice and tight. Maybe to about there. And let's go ahead and test this out on our MIDI keyboard. I'm gonna record enable this track. Okay, maybe I wanna pull out my endpoints a little bit over here. Okay, perfect. Now another thing that we can do is we can quickly normalize this if we need to bring up the volume. And then of course we have access to things like our filter or we could come into the effects section if we wanna affect this any further. So I could add some modulation, maybe some delay. And the benefit of this, of course, is that you can essentially craft your tones for any of your samples directly from within Sample One XT. Now let's take a look at another workflow when using Sample One XT. This time I'm gonna pull up a different instance of Sample One 
And in this case, I actually want to resample a virtual instrument. So just to keep this nice and simple, we will use an instance of, for example, Mai Tai. And I'm going to load a preset here. We'll go into my good friend Ari's EDM Synth Classics bundle. And let's load something over here. Maybe uh, we'll try desk bass. And we will record enable this track. And I'm going to go over to my MIDI controller. So let's go ahead and let's sample that directly into the new instance of sample one. So in my record section, I'm going to choose instruments and I'm going to choose Mai Tai. Now we'll go ahead and we'll trigger that note. This one, let's go ahead and name this Ari's bass. I'm going to put my insertion key at C1 and this one we could do, let's sample this at 32 bit float. And now essentially we'll record and let's go ahead and trigger the sample. Okay, now that we're done, we'll go ahead and push stop. I'm gonna hop back into the waveform. And here, like I mentioned, we can very quickly and easily find our zero crossing points. And those are gonna auto snap as I move across here. So let's back out, let's see how this sounds. I'm gonna record enable this particular one. We can adjust our low to high. So let's say we're gonna have this happen from C0 all the way up to maybe, let's say C3. And now we have a playable pattern. You can see the range here on our controller. And I'm gonna go ahead, let's just go all notes off and let's bring down our release. And then of course we can adjust our envelopes further if we need to. So for example, we'll bring this up, maybe just a little bit, something like about there. And then I can adjust the curve of this release as well by going in the envelope section. So now let's see how this sounds. Now, in addition to being able to sample different inputs and different virtual instruments, we also have a new feature that's been added in sample one. So in order to do that, I'm going to drag in something that is loopable. So for example, this session is sitting at 120. Let me just hop over into my files over here. I'll go into my sound sets and I'm going to drag in something. We'll drag in a loop from the loop loft over here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna drag this one in right over here. Let's expand this out. And I'm just gonna loop engage this and let's have a quick listen. I'm gonna pull the volume down a little bit. So obviously this would be a perfect loop. Now let's go ahead here and I'm gonna go into my audio and let's send this to a new sample one. So here we have our loop, it's come in on C3 and low is C minus two and the high is G eight. So let's go ahead and let's play this. Now, as with previous versions of sample one, if I was to play this lower, it's gonna be a lot slower. If I was to play it higher, it's gonna be a lot faster. But we now have a new option in Sample 1 XT, which allows us to follow song tempo. Now this comes in really handy if you're importing loops that are an exact duration of time. So for example, if we engage follow song tempo, now let's bring it down here, and let's bring it up here. So when follow tempo is engaged, the actual sample, the duration or length of the sample is not changed, only the pitch. And that's happening in the background with Sample 1 XT. So a lot of new opportunities in terms of workflow for people who like to use Sample 1 XT in their productions. Now I know that I've been using Sample 1 for a lot of my productions because a lot of the time I might be creating my own samples or working with my own samples, but I still wanna have the advantage of using a MIDI workflow. But now with these new features, which allow us to directly record and monitor any inputs, and keep in mind, we can also record anything from virtual instruments or any outputs or any tracks, anything that's available in your song. And in addition, we have access to our mapping and of course, the ability to record our samples directly from within the Sample 1 XT instrument. Now, the other thing to mention over here is that if I was to go ahead, click this sample and show in Finder, 
you'll see that we now have a new category in our Studio One song folder, which is samples. And any samples that are recorded directly into sample one are gonna end up nice and tidy in that folder for you. So overall, just a lot of different improvements right across the board with Sample One XT. So anyways, that's Sample One XT, a powerful update for Sample One in Studio One version four. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful and we'll catch you for more in the next one. Cheers.